Hi everyone, it's Kathy, aka Granny Pants. I had my non treadmill nuclear chemical stress test, however you want to adjust those words, yesterday. And compared to the first one, which I'll put on the end card here so you can look at how the first one worked, this one was a breeze. It really was. So, um, how it worked now, I had a, they called it a, oh, I gave you the whole name of it the other day. Um, anyway, uh, here we go. They called it a non something myocardial perfusion stress multi. Uh, some people call it a Lexi scan. Um, I'm learning. So, um, I went in and I had to be there like at 7.30 in the morning. <sighs> yeah, I know. That prompted an actual yawn. <laughs> and, um, so they put an IV in my arm and they, you know, flush the line with saline and then put some with that tracer in and I could you know I could tell it was in because I was like breathing fumes again like I was the first time but not as strong not nearly as strong as I was the first time so I'm thinking okay well that's kind of easy breezy I didn't even know if um, they had really done it or not because it was so mild <coughs> and um so, I uh, had to wait an hour, I guess, for that to circulate. So, they took me back to the lobby, and I sat there and watched HGTV. <laughs> and um, so, uh, I, I come back, and they do a scan. Not the same machine as before that had the two plates that, you know, went like this. Completely different. This one looked like a, a, a smaller version of a CT scanner or a um, MRI. Smaller version, smaller thing to go through. And it had an x-ray, or I guess you would call it an x-ray, kind of like an arm that came up beside me and over me, like this. And they wanted to make sure it was nice and tucked in by my side. And, um, it didn't move forward or backwards. It just, it stayed where it stayed, um, once they got it situated. So I laid there and that first scan was seven minutes and you have to put your arms over your head to do that. That was a little bit uncomfortable, um, for me because of my shoulder. And it seems like my lower back there was cramping up a little bit. I was like, oh, so uncomfortable. But hey, it worked. It was fine. Um, and it was temporary, so no big deal. That's just my ailment. That may not affect you at all. <laughs> but um, so that happened. And then after the, the scan was seven minutes, and um, that was like the original, you know, I don't know, I guess base scan. So after that, I had to wait um, about, I don't know, um, only 20 minutes or so. And then they took me in the testing room. And there was a treadmill there, but I didn't. I just sat in a chair. That's all I did, sat in a chair. All the staff was nice. They were so nice and very pleasant. That's one thing I have to say about Lutheran and their technicians and departments. They're very, very nice and very kind and everything. So John was my nuclear medicine dude. And um, and then I didn't catch the names of all the girls uh, in, the, in the actual testing room, nurses and stuff. But they were... They're really, really nice. And um, 
so uh they initially took you know readings they left one they left one on me last night i didn't find it till i got home <laughs> but um wait a minute oh i got the report too um uh, anyway so they're you know taking a you know i guess a base ekg or whatever and they took my blood pressure and it was 118 over 80 which is not bad i don't think um so 120 over 80 is like considered okay and then um she goes okay and then she comes with the syringe I'm like okay that's it right she says yeah now this is gonna make you feel all warm and fuzzy i'm like hit me <laughs> so they did and i you know i didn't feel all warm and fuzzy i didn't i mean maybe just a hint just a hint but boy after it started like you could i was like whoa you know a little bit of headache kind of kicked in and i'm like whoo that's a rush and she says yeah yeah she goes just breathe through it breathe through it we're simulating exercise here i'm like okay and um did you know that if you have a pacemaker you will never use a treadmill <laughs> my pacemaker spared me from the treadmill <laughs> but anyway so back to the medicine so it's it's coming in and i'm feeling real flush like like a hot flash kind of a thing and um but in comparison to the first one i had with the treadmill not nearly as strong not nearly as like i mean that other one made my hair follicles just hurt and felt like my forehead was expanding and all. nothing like that it was nothing like that this was like way mild compared to that. And that lasted for uh, five minutes. And they took my blood pressure like three or four times. And there was nothing exciting, no exciting news. It's like my, my blood vessels, even though they were dilated, were like just acting like normal stuff, which is kind of interesting. I'll, re I'll show you the report. In the next video and um so got through all that and then they instead of giving you the medicine that reverses you reverses that thing they they hand you something with caffeine in it and says that reverses it so i had a couple sips of uh, coca-cola and um you know i said man we should have made this flat before y'all gave it anyway real fizzy but you know that was it and then i had to um uh wait about another hour and then they uh 40 about 45 minutes i think it was and then they come and take picture do another scan that's only five minute scan so same thing as before just kind of lay there and they move that x-ray arm thing over to you to your left side and arms over your head and just lay there and it's a it's a five minute scan and i was done it was like is that all you got <laughs> and they're like yep that's it i'm like all righty then you know so all in all my experience was a plus I mean, I, I mean, no heavy breathing, no sweating, no, it was like no big deal. It was really a no big deal. Uh, now your experience may vary, but mine was like, is that all you got? I mean, is, is that's it. And so, um, I just want to let you know, if you have a pacemaker and have to get a chemical stress test or a Lexi scan or whatever they're going to call it now, it ain't no big deal. It is like no big deal. It's, I mean, the the worst part about it is waiting the hour. You know, they put the dye in your whatever they call it, the glow in the dark stuff. <laughs> um, 
and then you have to wait an hour. That's the worst part of the whole thing. Wait, wait, wait. So, um, you know, just like uh, uh, if you watch my other video about the treadmill stress test, uh, they actually gave you a hospital bed in a little dark room to sit and just relax. You know, when they put that dye in you, they let you just lay down and take a nap for an hour. That was good. <laughs> Ain't no beds in this desk. I mean, you're sitting in a chair in a lobby watching HGTV on the on the screen. But honest to goodness, it was like a no big deal. So I'm glad I got through it. I got my report. And we'll catch you on the other side and go over the go over that in the next video. And uh I was I was kind of surprised with this report. And then there were things in there that weren't surprising at all. But there's like two things that was like, what? So we'll go over that. But all in all, if you have to have this stress test, no big deal. Honest to goodness, no big deal. And um, I want to thank the team at Nuclear Medicine at Lutheran Hospital in Fort Wayne. They were absolutely fantastic. It was easy peasy, no big deal. So, um, if you need one, get one. <laughs> That's the best thing I can tell you. I mean, knowledge is power, right? And so, tomorrow I go for my, um, uh, esophageal burial barium test that's a swallow test and then in the afternoon i have my my echo with doppler they're always fun <sighs> said no one ever but anyway um i'll get that done tomorrow another test so and you know they don't allow filming in there so i can't i mean i can only explain to you what my experience was and I just did. And so, moral of the story is, if you need one of these things, just get it. If you have to walk the treadmill, there's a video on an end card here at the end of this video that'll take you to what my experience was. And it hasn't changed. All the things I describe in that video are what they still do today. And, um... That's got like over 42,000 views. I'm like, yeah. So, um, thanks for hanging with me this far. If you have hung with me this far, put a little blue heart in the comments. And um, I will check you on the other side. Be sure, just hang on just for a minute, and you'll get the you'll get the um, you'll get the link to the other stress test. So now I have to, with treadmill, without treadmill, give you my full experience. And uh, again, you know, knowledge is power. So they suggest you get one, just get it. Just get it. Um, what, they what they said in my report was very thorough. And, uh, you know, kind of surprising. In a couple of ways. So, talk to you soon. I'll make another video about this report. And then the next day, we'll do those two tests. And if my brother's watching, happy birthday. He turns 70 today. We are so freaking old. Okay. <laughs> and I, but I look fabulous, don't I? I look pretty dang on fabulous. Almost 70, right? <laughs> See you later. Bye.